New at 10, Santa Clara County will soon use new technology in its fight against mosquitoes and the West Nile virus. Officials say they will use drones to do targeted spraying of the pests starting this week. KTVU's Ann Rubin takes a closer look at the new tool and explains why they need to take to the skies as soon as possible. Lots of rain this winter means lots of mosquitoes this spring. In Santa Clara County, the marsh is already all abuzz. Oh, yes, yes, I'm out on the trails and you look for the insects and all and they're all over. But this year, Vector Control has a new weapon in their arsenal, drones. They can fly in hard to reach areas, minimize the impact on fragile ecosystems and provide a more precise application of larvicide. Of course, technology is excited no matter what. We are so excited to have that technology to control our mosquitoes. And the rush is on to get those drones in the air. Cool weather has kept the mosquitoes at bay so far, but soon they'll be mature and hungry. That would be really, really difficult to control because those mosquitoes we are going to control shortly. They are going to emerge to adult stage which is the biting stage, and the number is significantly a lot. Leading edge aerial technologies will be operating the drones, and they'll start by targeting 73 acres in the Palo Alto marsh area. Vector Control says in order to prevent disease and protect public health, the mosquitoes have to go. We are hoping at least most of them. Of course, there are some are going to be fly out. We cannot control that one, but we believe by the timing, we get 90%. Officials say you too should be on the lookout for standing water in your yards. Drain it if you can. Call Vector Control for help if you can't. The drone is supposed to take its first flight this week. In Santa Clara County, Ann Rubin, KTVU Fox 2 News.